If you're expecting twins or you have newborn twins, you're gonna find this video so, so helpful. I am a twin mom myself. I've actually gave birth to my twins about a year ago. The newborn stage has been over for us for a little bit, but when I look back on our having our twins as newborns, these are things that I truly feel like changed the game for us and allowed us to truly enjoy the newborn stage with twins as hard as it was. And as much of, as a lot of it was just about surviving the first few months, there are some things that I think were really, really helpful, at least for me and having newborn twins. We're gonna have links to every single product that I mentioned in this video in the description of this video. So if you're looking for anything, be sure to head down there. And also I already did a video on this channel about our favorite newborn items. So just like general newborn stuff that we really enjoyed, but this video is gonna be very specific to if you're having twins or multiples, these are like twins multiple specific items that were really helpful. The first product that I am absolutely obsessed with and I get so many questions about on my Instagram is the twin Z pillow and I actually have it next to me right here this is what it looks like so it's basically this ginormous nursing and lounge pillow I like that it has a lot of purposes for newborns and you're able to use it for nursing so what you do is you pop up this middle section right here and you're able to sit in the middle of it just like this and then you clasp the clips here and then you put each baby on each side. And when they were newborns, I did have to put a pillow underneath of it to raise it up just a little bit so that I didn't have to like lean over. As they've gotten older and I still use it, now they're big enough, I can just sit in it just like this. And as you can see, what's nice about it is like it has that back support. So I can literally pop this like in the middle of my floor, in the middle of the bed, on the couch. Like I don't need something to lean back on necessarily, even though that can make it more comfortable. So basically I use this for tandem breastfeeding. I did exclusively breastfeed my twins. So uh, this pillow was definitely a must for that. I will say though, that even if you're planning to bottle feed or if you do any sort of combo feeding, this thing is just really nice because you can also clasp it when you're not sitting in it like this. And it gives you like a double lounger. You can put one baby on each side. And I've heard that that's really, really nice for if you need to like bottle feed two babies at the same time, you can set them up and then you have like two hands to hold the bottles for them, which is awesome. Yeah, I love that thing. I got the twinsy pillow and then I also got a second cover for it. So like this gray cover comes off of it. I got the cream cover as well. So we'll put a link to both of those in the description, especially when they were newborns. Like at least one of them was spitting up on this at least once a week and I was constantly changing out the cover. So having a backup was really, really nice to have on hand. The second must have if you're having twins is baby carriers. I cannot stress this enough. This helps me so much. Even to this day, I use a ton of, like I still baby wear our twins, but especially when they are newborns, like even being able to wear one baby and then have free hands to do something else for the other baby, life-changing like seriously so helpful one of my favorite carriers for the newborn stage was the Solly baby wrap it's like the stretchy newborn wraps that you can use I absolutely loved it It was so sweet being able to baby wear and have my baby close to me but also again having free hands either to do other things or to also hold or take care of the other baby was just so nice and I actually have a 10% off discount code for Solly baby that link will be in the description where you can shop away they have so many fun patterns and colors for their beautiful baby wraps. The wraps are so, so soft, and I just loved this for the newborn stage. Just so close and snuggly and just the best. Another favorite baby carrier that I have are the wild bird carriers, or I guess I should really say ring slings. So if you've ever seen like those slings that like go to one side and you put your baby in it, that's essentially what it is. Um, so I absolutely loved this one too. This one I liked a little more once they got to be at two or three months old and started to get more head control. I liked that even better and it was nice for when I was doing things because they could be off to the side and like see what I was doing, especially once they started to get a little bit more alert. That carrier and that sling was like amazing. So definitely check that one out too. And then I can't talk about baby carriers without also mentioning the Twin Go Carrier. This carrier has been my favorite. I, you can't really start using it until they're around four months old, at least not as like a tandem carry. So you put one baby on your back and then one baby on the front and the baby on the back needs to have really good head control. I found that my twins and what they recommend too is that usually that starts happening around four months old when you can be comfortable putting them on your back. 
So definitely recommend getting it though and like having it ready to go. I tried a few different like twin carriers that are popular out there and all the other ones were so uncomfortable. So this one was super comfortable, so nice. And I was able to also use it, um, especially if they've gotten older. I found it to be the most comfortable carrier as they've gotten bigger and heavier. And I can put it on the front as a single carrier or on the back as a single carrier. So I use this thing literally all the time nowadays, like on my back. I will throw one of my babies in there and so I can do some things if they are like just wanting to be held But I still need to get things done So yeah, definitely a super nice option especially if like you have a spouse that's also interested in Baby wearing you could get that carrier like for once they're older and you can like tandem wear at the same time Or like one of you can like you can each use them both as a single carrier Like it turns into two separate single carriers, which is really nice the next twin specific item that I was obsessed with is the halo twin bassa nest this thing you guys like was a game changer i like i mentioned i breastfed our twins and so i had to wake up in the night with them obviously like anytime that they woke and this thing's essentially a swiveling bassinet that goes right next to your bed it can even overlap the bed a little bit and so you're able to have your twins right there next to you it is awesome like i am obsessed with it um again we'll have a link to this in the description you can check it out. I use this until they were about five months old. You're supposed to stop using it once they start rolling and that's around the time that our twins started rolling a lot. But let me tell you, I got so much use out of it out of those first, in those first five months of their life. Like this thing was just amazing. I ended up finding it secondhand at a local like kids thrift store. So you could even check those out and I got it almost half off, which was awesome. But I will say, I think the price tag is so worth it. Like I was originally considering buying a way cheaper version because in my mind it didn't seem worth it but especially like when I was breastfeeding this thing because of the way it swivels I was able to swivel it to like whatever twin was hungry and woke up and like I needed to attend to without even having to barely move like I didn't have to put my feet on the floor I didn't have to sit up very much I could just roll over like roll the twin out of their bassinet and feed them or change them or do whatever like it was just it was awesome I can't recommend it enough the next must-have for twins and this might be kind of a funny must have but it is the tie like knotted nightgowns from Lulu and company and the reason why I think these are a must have for multiples is because let me tell you especially with multiples when you are up in the middle of the night quite a bit it is so much easier I mean for any newborn like I will do this for any newborn that we have but especially with twins having like nightgowns that just not at the bottom when you're having to do a lot more diaper changes in the night is a game changer like back like whenever I had to do like zippers or you deal with like the snaps like it was just a pain in the butt in the middle of the night I'm like half awake anyway trying to do this and having just the nightgown that I can just open slide up change the diaper slide back down and then just do a quick one knot like literally amazing I can't rave about these enough and they're so buttery soft and just so like snuggly I just I'm obsessed with them so we'll put a link to those down in the description too where you can look at the nightgowns they have so many different color options um and I'll have in below too like the color options that we ended up getting we got a really nice like tan color a light pink color a white color and I had I think three sets of these so six total that I just rotated through and they wore them every night and I made sure I just did, did laundry every couple of days the next Next twin must have that this was seriously like awesome for me as a uh, um, mom and just having confidence and getting out of the house alone with my twins and that is the Uppa Baby um, v Vista V2 stroller. I like seriously this thing was the one thing that when we were have, gonna have our babies that we decided to invest in and it is definitely been worth the price tag for us. We still use it to this day as a double stroller but when our twins were newborns like literally I don't think I would have had as much confidence as I did like getting out of the house by myself with both babies if I didn't have this thing and the reason why and it kind of leads me to the next must have is the upper baby infant mesa car seat actually clicks into the stroller so like when I went out by myself when the girls were newborns and really up until they were probably like six or seven months old we use this quite a bit is I would take the stroller with me and then their car seat like I would just get out of the car set up like click open the stroller and then I could click their car seat out of the base and click it right into the stroller so I didn't have to wake them up I didn't have to get them out of the car seat and have to put them back in the car seat a lot of the times like they would just sleep through so much as newborns as newborns do and 
that just made it so easy in getting out and doing things. Even when it was just me and my husband like going out somewhere, there were times where we could run an errand and like go to the grocery store and yet they would sleep the whole thing. Like we would just put them in their car seat and they click into the stroller, click it back in the car and then go home and they wouldn't have even known. And I think that'd be way different. We had to constantly get them out of their car seat. So definitely recommend, at least for twins, it allows you to do two car seats, like click in both of them. There are attachments you have to get for that. So the link that I have below, I'll like make sure I have the attachments you have to get. And then you do, if you wanna use it down the road for like an upright, like do two upright seats, you have to buy the additional upright see in the attachment for that. I'll have a link to all of that down below and try to make it as least confusing as I can. But it was a great stroller for twins. It still is a great stroller for twins. And I will say compared to a lot of double strollers, it's double in the sense of like they stack on top of each other. They're not like side by side. So it's a lot easier to get in and out of places and they fit through literally any doorway with no problem. The next must have that I truly loved was having a big comfy recliner. I don't know why, but we never really felt the need to have a rocking chair. I didn't buy one when I was pregnant and you even once they were here, I just never used it a lot. But one thing that I did use a lot because I was breastfeeding a ton around the clock was a big comfy recliner. And I ended up finding this on Facebook Marketplace, but I found it online and I'll have a link below and show a picture here of like the one that I have. If you want to check it out, you totally can. I think it was totally worth it. And this one is also an electric recliner. So it doesn't make a lot of noise when you like pop it up and pop it down, which is really nice. So you don't like wake up the baby. And this was just awesome for like, if I was spending hours breastfeeding, like I was, you know, having a comfy chair that I was doing that is a truly a must. You're gonna spend so much time in that chair. So make sure it's comfortable. And I'm really glad I went with a recliner like this versus something that maybe is a little more like aesthetic or really cute that wasn't as comfortable it truly was a really, really good choice. Another must have for twins that I think can be really helpful depending on your living situation is a baby monitor that has two cameras, like one for each baby. For us, when we, the girls were newborns, we didn't have a baby monitor because we lived in basically like a townhome, but it was all on one floor. So like our garage was on the bottom and then our living space was above that. And so we were always within like really close distance to where the girls were sleeping if they were in their cribs or their bassinet. So we just didn't really feel like we needed a monitor, but in our house now, like if we had a newborn here and even now, like we ended up buying a monitor before we moved here because we have two floors, like we have a bottom floor and a top floor and it's really hard to exactly hear if a baby is crying or like just to be able to see them whenever we're on the bottom floor, obviously, cause like we're a little further away. So if I had a newborn like in this kind of situation, I would probably get a monitor. And I actually have one that we got that has two cameras, which is really nice for obviously twins. So you can see them in their own separate sleep spaces if they are sleeping in like two different cribs or something. So I'll have a link to that below if you're curious to check it out, it's on Amazon. And I did a lot of research trying to find one that I liked, but also wasn't super expensive. So maybe you'll like that one too. And then in this video, I also wanted to mention four things that aren't necessarily like physical products, but are just things that we invested in in the newborn season of life of having twins that again, like I feel like just made our lives so much easier and allowed us to truly feel like we were thriving a little more instead of just surviving every day and just getting help in different areas. The first one is Instacart. I, we still use Instacart quite a bit. It's $10 a month for unlimited free deliveries. And then beyond just paying for the cost of your groceries, you do usually leave a tip, right? Like for the person delivering it. But besides that, like that's what you're paying for. And it truly was, I mean, it's still a game changer now, but even when we had newborns, like the last thing we wanted to do is to get everyone out of the house and go to the grocery store or have one of us have to go to the grocery store. I know for me, just in that season, like I am someone who needs a lot of sleep. And because I was breastfeeding, like I would go to bed at like eight or nine o'clock at night and I wouldn't get out of bed till usually 10 or 11 the next morning because I was up so much throughout the night. And so that made my days a lot shorter and the things that I was able to do during the day the list was quite low and even remembering to shower or brush my teeth every day was a struggle to the point where I had to make myself like a list on the fridge to remind myself to do that every day. And so having someone like other people who can just help deliver groceries on a you know regular basis was so, so nice. And so we ended up using Instacart quite a bit. We used it for like our local grocery store. We also used it for Costco deliveries, which is really nice. And then going along with the idea of groceries, we also have a meat delivery service from Farm Fed Box. Besides the fact that just like knowing where your meat's coming from, it's coming straight from an American farm and it's quality grass fed meat. And we still 
use them to this day. Just not gonna think about the majority of the meat that we're buying. It's just literally delivered to our door, which is awesome. And for farm fed box, I know I do have a code to get 20% off your first box. So if you wanna check it out, if you wanna just try a one box to begin with, you can totally do that with my code below. The third thing that was really helpful for us is actually we hired a cleaning company to come and deep clean our house every month. So we actually did this for the first, I guess it would have been seven or eight months because it was before we moved to South Carolina. So back when we lived in Ohio and the girls were younger, that's, um, we hired a cleaning company and they were seriously awesome. Not only were they so, they, they were so sweet as people, they were seriously so helpful because the last thing I wanna do is be like cleaning our house. And we usually would like do a vacuum and a little bit of a clean like in between, but every four weeks they were coming to our house and cleaning for us and that was seriously so helpful and we don't do that to this day like we feel like we have more of the capacity to do more of our own cleaning but back when you know the newborn life was just a little crazy that was seriously so helpful and such a gift to not have to worry about that and we even started that towards the end of my pregnancy because let's be honest, when I'm when you're that pregnant with twins, you do not want to do that either. And then the last thing here is if you have dogs, this is especially a game changer. I know for us, like again, I mentioned we lived in a townhome, we didn't even have our own backyard. And so our for our dogs to get out their energy, we actually ended up sending or like bringing them to there was a doggy daycare place about five minutes away. And we're not really the kind of people who take our dogs to doggy daycare on a regular basis. Like we just don't. Unless we're going out of town, they stay there overnight. But whenever the girls were newborns I bought like a package of like 14 visits or something that they could go and so we brought them there probably two or three times a week we would take them there let them run around and like yahoos for you know six or seven hours and then go pick them up and they would just be so exhausted and it was so nice like them getting their energy out like getting out of the house it gave us like I don't know it's just like with a newborn of ha or the craziness of having newborns sometimes like your patience can be really short and as much as you love your dogs like sometimes just getting them out of the house it's really good for them to get their energy out really good for you to kind of have a break and to not be worried about like tripping over the dog or have they been fed or you know the dogs are going crazy again like it just kind of gives you both a break and I feel like it was just really nice for everybody to be able to do that on a regular basis. So if you're able to, and if you have somewhere nearby, ours is only like a five minute drive. So it's very doable for us to like go take them throughout the week. If you're wondering what the full list of newborn favorites is that I have, be sure to watch. I'll put the video right up here and also the link in the description. If you want to head to our newborn favorites video, basically the full rundown of all of the newborn items and must haves that I recommend. And obviously these are things that I would recommend to twin parents too but this video is just like kind of an add-on to that one of what things I recommend also if you're having twins so if this video is helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we upload um, regular weekly videos on this channel surrounding like being parents and just our lives raising twins so if that sounds fun to you then be sure to follow along especially because if you're watching this you're probably expecting twins or have new twins and it'll kind of give you a peek into what the future will look like so also twins are so fun like it is crazy but we truly have feel like we've been able to find a lot of joy in having twins and it's been a lot of fun being a mom has been a lot of fun and we just love it it's so fun you're gonna have a blast with your twins so also too um if you have any questions drop a link below i'm happy to help if you have any questions about anything i mentioned and i'll see you guys next week bye guys